beautiful humans my name is Lindsay Whitfield and today I wanted to do something different and fun because I didn't feel like getting full glam I've had a really long week at work and then I have to get ready after this um, for the crawfish boil that I'm going to with Victoria and JP um, and uh, a bunch of people I used to work with at the job I had before the one I have now um, and I'm excited about that but I wanted to do something kind of fun and just different because I need it. I couldn't film a serious video today if I tried. So we're going to play with these. Um, my co-worker Kelly asked me about trying these on my channel and I was like, girl, yes. So these are cat liners and they are little cat stencils that are supposed to help you put on your eyeliner. Um, and there's two of them. There's this one and this one that's a little bit bent, but whatever um, and they come in a pack like this um, and they have these handy instructions um, so we're gonna try both of them and I've got a bunch of different like eyeliner formulations I've got like these so I've got the Ico eyeliner that I'm don't really love but I thought I'd give it a shot maybe the physicians formula um, just felt tip pen which I do love uh, a NYX liquid liner, uh, a fishnet gel liner from Smashbox, and then I have this which I think has the best packaging of any makeup of all time. This is the Pretty Vulgar, uh, the ink gel eyeliner. Um, and I am not great with gel eyeliner, so we're going to try that too. It's going to be fun. I am armed with makeup wipes because I'm going to need them, I have a feeling, <laughs> and we're just going to try it. Yay. So the first one we're going to try is this one. Okay, so the instructions, let me show you guys, look like that. Okay, so it's got like a number and then like what you're supposed to do with it. Let's try this with the Physician's Formula Liner. Alright, so step one, you take the arm, good god, alright, you take the arm and oh god, this already feels weird. Oh, okay, I see it, and it goes like this. And that's your eyeliner. I don't think two hands are sufficient to do this. Okay, let's, let me pin this down and just try to, um, here we go. Here, what is this wrong? I can't see. I hope this is working. Um, no. Well, that was number one. So that was here. Where is number two? All right, number two is this way. I'm so confused, you guys. So it's like that, kind of? I don't know. All right, hold on. Okay, from on camera, from far away, it actually looks okay, but like up close, that is what it looks like. And that's, that's a no. Oh, but we're not done. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try this side again. All right, so I'm filling it in. All right, this has your eyeliner going way the hell up here, which is not where eyeliner goes. So I'm just gonna fill it in and no, no. All right, well, that was fun. Try this Smashbox eyeliner. It feels very weird because I'm like not looking at the camera because I have to watch this thing, so all right. So three goes here. Oh, okay. Who the hell needs a stencil under their eye? I think that drunk me could do better makeup than this. Four and five are for eyeshadow, so I am gonna try those, and then I'm gonna go back and try one and two um, with different formulations of eyeliner and see if we get a better result, because I wanna give this a fair shot. Um, so far, I think that it, um, that maybe a toddler could do a better job than eyeliner with this. Maybe I'm not using it right. If you have had success with these, tell me what I'm doing wrong. No. Let's try five on this side. Okay, now here we go. This is a mess. 
Okay, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so I give up on this round, which means let's take this off and try again. Um, okay, I think maybe this might actually be easier with a different formulation. So I'm going to clean this thing off. And I'm going to try one and two again. Um, okay, I'm going to try one with the Pretty Vulgar um, Gel Eyeliner. So, giving me all kinds of like Hogwarts vibes, by the way, because it's just a little pot. All right, let's do this again. All right, let's try with the gel. Not going to lie, I actually feel like this is easier. Oh, God, this is whiting me out. Sorry, guys. I'm actually trying to do a good job. It just looks like I'm effing up on purpose. Okay. Oh, that was better! Okay, so this one was much better. Look. Um, and that could have been user error. So let's try, let's fix it. Huh. Okay! Okay, that was really successful, you guys. Let's try that with number two on the other side. And I'm gonna try it again with this gel liner because it seems to be successful. Um, I think it could be because it's an actual brush and like if you have ever painted anything, you know that painting something with a stencil is much easier than like trying to use a marker or whatever. And that's I think essentially the difference in the eyeliner. So I'm gonna try it again and see if we can duplicate that success. All right, we're gonna try number two. All right, let me look at how it works again because I've forgotten already. Wait, shit, hold on, oh God. I cannot see at all. Reveal. Um, mm, mm. Okay, that could be user error. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it was. Uh, let's see if we can attempt to fix this. I think I said at the beginning of this that I was not great at gel liner. Do you believe me now? Hold on, let's try one more thing. So I'm gonna try it one more time, but I'm gonna try it with number one again on this side. See if we can duplicate. That's how it goes. Okay, so step one to being successful is making sure that thing is clean. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this was a fluke and that this is really just stupid. So, useless. Kelly, don't buy this. But we've got one more to try um, and I'm gonna leave the pretty vulgar thing out because I have a feeling that's gonna be the most successful. But we're gonna try the next one. Okay, so here's the instructions for the second part. We're gonna start with number six and I'm gonna use the NYX eyeliner for this one and see if how that goes also a brush so you know maybe it'll work okay so this goes kind of like this. all right this doesn't look like a wing at all I'm confused I'm confused wait this is wrong this something's wrong Okay, so this says seven, but the seven is actually here and this picture shows it here, so they're misnumbered, but seven is just to give you a guide for where your shadow should end. So let's attempt that with our Shimmer and Glow eyeshadow from Stila. That did work. So you just fill in over here. Not awful. We're gonna leave it. Well, not good either, but okay. All right, let's try eight is um, the butt, cat butt. Okay, so the cat butt is the wing. Okay, there. What did that do? Nothing. That could be saved. So eight was to give you a guide for your wing. This isn't going well. 
Nine looks like it is a guide for where your wing should end, which is actually correct. So I'm gonna show you guys. What the f this thing is terrible! Oh my God, okay, hold on. Let's actually try this on this side because there's like no wing over here. All right, and I'm gonna use this Ico thing that I hate. Okay, okay. Huh. So I am gonna try this again. Now that actually is kind of helpful because say you're one of those people like me, the most trouble you have with the wing is like the bottom line. Good news is you can clean that up with concealer, but if that is what you're struggling with, this could actually help. Um, not a lot, but it might help. All right, so I'm gonna try number 10, and then what we're gonna do is figure out which one was the most successful. I'm gonna try that on one eye versus a freehand eyeliner on the other, and we're gonna compare, and that's gonna be it. So this is number 10, the tail and we're gonna do it over here that is your wing turning it with the ico boom so i'm gonna give this thing a fair shot and we're gonna try now i am i'm not great at gel liner you guys it's i just kind of started doing it in the last like couple of weeks i'm i'm not good at it um i'm working on it but that's why you haven't seen me really do it on my channel because I, you have to practice with these things and I don't have enough practice to be great at it. But we're going to try and because that's the eyeliner that I'm the least comfortable with, we're going to try the stencil on one side and we're going to try me free handing my eyeliner on the other. So let's see what happens. Now I'm going to give this one this eye, okay? Pretty vulgar gel liner. This is an Aesthetica eyeliner brush by the way. These both were from BoxyCharm this month. Okay, that is with the stencil. Freehand gel liner on the other side. Everybody, <sighs> no fear. I'm not breathing. All right, no cleanup, no nothing. This is where we're at. Freehand, stencil, freehand. Stencil. Well, I think the stencil clearly won. But genuinely, guys, this these things, they're just a gimmick. They're nothing. In the words of Laura Lee, it's a gimmick. Like, don't waste your money on these. These were like four bucks on Amazon, and that is Starbucks I could have had instead. And I wish I had, because these are useless. Um, it's just ridiculous how bad they are. So <laughs> that's it um, for this week's video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you did, make sure before you leave, you hit the YouTube trifecta. That's like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next week with another video. I love y'all mean it. Bye. See you high five. Meow. What are you doing? Yep. This happened. I did something wrong. Four is for eyeshadow. Meow. Meow. I give up. I'm done. This was so stupid. I hope you guys liked this. <laughs> Never buy these things. They suck. Okay, love y'all. Bye. There's eyeliner on my forehead. <laughs>